This man standing here is Jonathan Freeman, and he is about to enter into traffic court located in Marin County. He is here because he's trying to find a ticket he got on purpose. Yep, he wanted to get this ticket. This is just weird to go into the state's offices and talk about fictional entities. Jonathan claims to have driven in a carpooling illegally in Marin and Alameda counties close to, get this, 25 maybe. So you rode in a carpool lane 25 times. Jonathan claims he was not alone. You see, he had an invisible person in the front seat with him. The invisible person was in the form of incorporation papers for his nonprofit organization. I'm not making this up. So the officer who stopped Jonathan and wrote the ticket got to tell his side of the story. His statement to me, he was trying to explain that he was exempt from being in a carpool lane and that he was, uh, in essence, a corporation. However, Jonathan, who appeared with his own attorney and, yes, a PR firm, thought differently. Both of those signs state, quote, carpool is two or more persons per vehicle, close quote, right? When you have a double meaning, that's not adequate notice. Here the double meaning is, what's a person? Is a, is a person a natural person? Is a person a corporation? Is a person both? They also argued that the statute for carpool lane was unconstitutionally vague. So his ticket that he got on purpose should be dismissed. So how did the judge rule on this? Let's listen in. It's a novel argument. I've certainly never seen it. I've done this for a long time in several different venues, but I've never seen the argument raised. The judge quoted the vehicle code that carpooling was to relieve congestion on California highways. I think that a, a, a common sense interpretation of that is carrying a sheath of papers on the passenger seat of your vehicle in no way relieves traffic congestions. So, in a nutshell... And so I am going to find you guilty of the violation. Jonathan lost, but... We will file a notice of appeal within that period of time. Okay. So the question is, will Jonathan continue to ride in the carpool lane with his invisible friend? Of course. In Marin County, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News. With my corporation papers.